Okay, well, today we're going to do something a little different, a dance hall edition of the Here and Now DJ Sessions. Just touched down in at the airport. Mm-hmm. Chuck suit, I'm an Air Force. Mm-hmm. I take the shot and wine, wine, wine. I wine, wine. But find him ready. Me not tell you from who was a time ready. The God who wants me to say Omar ready. Phillips is a dance hall DJ. Who's going to explain what that is in a second. But first, Omar, welcome to Here and Now. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you are originally from Brooklyn. Your parents are Panamanian. How did you get into dance hall music, which is from Jamaica? So um, the section of Brooklyn that I live in is Crown Heights, um, probably the highest concentration of West Indians, I think, in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so pretty much every time I went, walked out my house, the nine out of ten people, sometimes even ten, 10 out of ten that I've met was either from Trinidad, Jamaica, Haiti, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. So um, trying to find just American culture in my community for the first upteenth years of my life was almost impossible. And we said that you're part of a sound system is uh, an essential part of reggae culture uh, from which dance hall is derived. Explain what a sound system, first of all, originally was in Jamaica. It's it's an evolution, right? So in the beginning, to explain sound system, you would think the literal terms, okay, we think of speakers and turntables, mm-hmm. but in turn, it was almost like teams, people that had different jobs. So you have the person that actually, the team that will actually bring the equipment out, set it up. You had the MC that kind of was just that. It was an MC, got, got the crowd involved and, and introduced the songs, and you had what we call a selector which, you know, made sure the playlist, the records were in order, made sure we had the um, the party going and reading the vibes and playing it. So all encompassing its uh, sound system. Okay, well, finally, let's get to some of the music that you have brought us today. The first one is called Dollavan. This is by Busy Signal. On the food for the basket Big up every Dollavan Every Trinidad, Jamaican, Lucian, Guyanese and African Get a youth, touch the road with a dollar plan. Van load pan you tick up. Flat bush a hoop pick up. Big up every dollar van. This a busy with a another one. Yeah. Music a bums from the phone or the CD. Touch the road, touch the road. Now, a dollar van, which is what he's talking about there, is something that exists in New York, in Brooklyn, and Queens. This is, it's kind of like an unofficial Uber in a way. They, they pick up passengers for a dollar. Precisely, exactly. So um, growing up, the, the funny thing was is, um, in, the, in the Flatbush uh, section of Brooklyn where we, I pretty much spent a lot of my time, um, that exactly what you just said, um, and the culture that Caribbean people bought with the dollar van, it was kind of like driving down, we'll have, they'll have a, hey, look, we're in a church group, so if we get pulled over, we're a part of this church group. <laughs> and and, uh, and this is something that was, you know, was big for the, the community. The community that we're talking about here was kind of like poverty going into middle class. So, you know, something as, uh, as simple as a dollar um, to get a ride all the way up and down the avenue, drive, travel with my, with my grandmother. These things made a difference. And it was a culture that was bought from the Caribbean of, you know, ways to make money, ways to make life easier and everybody working. And that's one of the key pieces that I brought this song into the realm for us because some of the greatest songs in life are just the most simple topics, you know? And does the dance hall music coming out of New York sound different than the dance hall music coming out of Jamaica? Well, that's a good question. Um, I'd say no. I'd say we have, yeah, we have our own flair, but at the end of the day, dance hall is dance hall. We work off of the biggest producers who, you know, so... So, for instance, the, the way a, pr- a song is produced in Jamaica, a producer will kind of kind of create a beat. So let's say in the terms of Michael Jackson, let's say Quincy Jones made Thriller. Um, in, in America, we will know, most likely say, OK, that's Michael Jackson's track. If Quincy Jones made Thriller in Jamaica, chances are um, he will call it, hey, the Thriller rhythm. And he will get Quint- he will get Michael Jackson, Prince, Stevie Wonder, and he'll put a, a slew of artists on that rhythm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the cream rises to the top, you know, so the, the biggest songs become the most popular in dance also. In, in that term, you get whatever's good, and then the music will kind of sound the same across the board. Okay, the next one uh, that you've brought us uh, is, and I'm going to try to say this right, Nomad Ova No Gyal. How did I do? Perfect. Okay, good. Perfect, and this is perfect. by right. Munga on a Rebel. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. Me no wanna get a pressure, me as me weak. Like, oh, my real love, get a shit ache. Better if you better if you give me a break. I have a sick. Cause a boy like me, me no mad. No. Me no mad over no girl. Cause a boy like we, we no mad. No. We no mad over no girl. She could have put it like Dolly and spend enough money. Funny, no. 
So for people who did not get the translation there, na mad over no gal is I'm not mad over no gal. Okay? It's, it's not that exactly. hard, I guess, right? But this is exactly. Patois, which is the Creole language of Jamaica, which is a mix of English and various African dialects. Uh, tell us more about this one. So this one, it's kind of like for a DJ, where it's a bit braggadocious. The thing about dancehall, I think more than any other genre of music, is that we're into the direct effect, right? So we're into playing a song and you reacting. The next song, I want you to react even more wild. So, Namarova no gal. It's for the guys could kind of get a moment to have some machismo to kind of walk out and say, yeah, no matter how pretty you are. I'm one of those guys that I'm not going to go crazy over mm-hmm. you. I mean, chances are they probably go home and go crazy over the same girl. <laughs> but <laughs> well, at least we like to think that machismo is there for a second. But, you know, it's it's a, it's an anthem for the guys to walk out. The ladies have the same kind of anthems and, you know, and we play them. And do you speak Patois, by the way? Yes, yes. Um, so my first language is English, second is Spanish. And then being in the streets of Brooklyn, we have to learn how to speak Patois and learn how to, you know, the road call. So... Wow. You know, I could turn it on and turn it off, as in, you know. How, how? When do you turn it on? On two different occasions. I turn it on when I'm in, when I'm, so my, Omar is my personal, and then Steelfinger is my DJ name. When I'm Steelfinger, I'm almost always speaking Patois. If I'm trying to keep sharp on it, because it's not something that I know from grandma and grandpa, um, I would try to, if I'm with some of my island friends, I'll kind of turn it on to kind of keep sharp at it and keep, you know, good, because as a Hispanic, you know, it's kind of like I'm always look that side eyed. You know, like, hey, what, what, what are you doing speaking that? But, uh, <laughs> if I'm in a dance hall event or whatever. Okay, let's get to the next one you brought us. This is Enemies by Mavado. When enemies are make nice, we not hear the song. I know they make me wait not the morning, so how we feel lose a pound. Cut off all of me enemies, them. All of me enemies, them. Cause them claim say, them no need me, but I we no need them. So me cut all of me enemies, them. All of me enemies, them. Cause them claim say, I them a lead, but I we a lead them. Jump on the and pretend like you're them. So tell us more about this one. So with this one, um, I guess you could say it's very synonymous with a hardcore rap or gangster rap in a sense where we're kind of not speaking the most happiest thing. We're not talking about girls. We're not talking about partying. We're talking more so about enemies and, and, and those sorts. But there are a lot of people who believe that dance hall has gotten much more violent and misogynistic compared to some of the classic reggae like Bob Marley. Yes, and that's the difference. You hit it on the head. When you talk about reggae, reggae is more based towards consciousness, more roots, more music with a message. It's more universal, I guess, in that sense. What dance hall is a little bit more hard to swallow because this is coming directly from the ghettos. And then plus, we're in a culture now, it's like shock value, right? So whatever has the biggest ooh and ah, you know, going to get these kids out of situations, they may just tend or gravitate towards to kind of get out of those situations. And if that sells, then that sells. Okay, let's listen next to Life. This is by Christopher Martin. Five star on, tell me no lady, no, no dancing. Highest grade up in the raw when me blazing. Any pony rocks car, we no do no chasing. Tell us say we ready now. For life, it's the most expensive thing I tell you. Life, everything is cheap once you can buy. But life, it's the most expensive thing I tell you. Life, but everything is cheap. More of a positive dancehall song here. Yes. So with with Christopher Martin, one of the reasons that I picked this song in particular was the positive aspect is, once again, it's a direct impact in a dancehall. So if I'm in a dancehall and I get on the microphone and it's full of people and they have liquor and they're feeling good. And and I said, everybody will love life. Put up some hands, you know, and they're going to put their hands up and I play a song like Life that's directly impacting what my MC just said on the sound system. I'm going to get a huge forward because everybody who doesn't love life, you know, the few people that don't. But everybody that's in a party atmosphere, chances are they're going to put up a drink or do whatever I ask them to do to celebrate the song. That is Omar Phillips, who is a dance hall DJ with the sound system Ja Cuban. You can listen to them on Fridays from 9 to 11 p.m. at SawOneRadio.com. Omar, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for the invite. It was a pleasure. And before you leave, give me just another sentence in Patois. I appreciate everybody in NPR while giving me the opportunity to come out here and speak about the culture for the people. You see me? Love it. Omar, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great one. And if you want to hear more, you can go to our Spotify playlist. 